Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> you like me. Um, um, thank you for joining us for those two days. Um, and uh, it's time to finalize the conference. And uh, we want to show you some numbers. We've had about uh, 750 participants over those two days. We had three tracks, including a PyData track. Altogether, we had more than 50 sessions here. And this was all enabled by months of hard work by many good people. And um, I want to show you some um, other numbers, a little slightly less related. Um, these are the numbers for last year's August Penguin. Uh, as you may be aware, August Penguin is the main conference of Hamako, the uh, open source association that's also behind this conference. And um, you can just see the numbers and imagine yourself how many people it takes to have a meaningful community event. So, um, Noron? Thanks, Shai. So yeah, lots of data, and we love data. Uh, but I would like to switch to something uh, a bit different, uh, and I would like to speak about the power of winds. Trust me, there's a point, we'll get there. Bear with me. Uh, yeah. Does anyone have any idea what is the output of a standard wind turbine? How many? How much? Sorry. So I'll give you the numbers just so we won't get this wrong. Uh, with a typical wind uh, that blows uh, in a speed of 30 to 55 miles per hour and a standard 25% uh, capacity factor, a standard 2 megabyte, uh, megawatt sorry, turbine would produce 4,380,000 kilowatts per hour per year. Okay, that's a lot. 20 of these would usually be uh, sufficient for a standard city in Israel. Okay. Interesting numbers. Let's see one more example, uh, just to make a point. Okay, does anyone have any idea what is the average speed of a standard sailboat? Simple one. Not very far away, you're getting there. Any other numbers? 11, very close. So, depending on the wind, the standard average speed would be between 8 and 12 miles per hour for the Israelis of us. That's 13 to 19 kilometers per hour under decent uh, circumstances. It's not a lot, 19 kilometers per hour, but it will drive you across the ocean. And the question is, what happens when the wind stops? Not much. We're stuck in the middle of the sea, uh, no turbine output if we were relying on that. And that's a bit of the problem. Uh, in many ways, uh, the same goes for PyCon, August Penguin, uh, and other community-driven efforts. We need that win. We need the power to move us uh, forward. This year, in 2018, we're not going to have uh, August Penguin uh, for the lack of people to drive that forward, which is going to influence open source in Israel. Uh, and that's quite a pity. Uh, and we need to grow local communities to drive us forward. Why do we need that? Uh, the Python community, as any other uh, open source community, is the engine, the driving engine, uh, behind many innovations uh, and in, in inventions, sorry, uh, definitely PyData, uh, as we heard in the last several days. Uh, it's partially being backed by commercial companies, but it takes a lot of effort and motivation from us developers uh, to push that forward. So money is not enough, we need the motivation. In Israel, we have a huge potential for local communities, and sadly this year we didn't see it. Uh, we need more people getting involved. And at this point of time, you probably ask yourself, where do I fit in? So first of all, you do. Almost each and every one in this room fits in very well, uh, especially in Israel, by the way. Uh, if you ever thought in your company, why do they ever uh, bother to schedule meetings on Friday? Uh, when our weekend is, uh, or their weekend 
is defined as Saturday and Sunday, which is a bit of a problem for us, especially Friday afternoons, uh, not to mention holidays here. Uh, we need you involved whenever there's an issue with text flow, right to left, even in Unicode days, we still have a big issue here. Uh, and we need you involved because this is the only meaningful way to make a, an impact, to become a leader, a community leader. And we need you involved as a community leader. That's super important to us. So please join us and help us drive this forward. And with that, uh, we'd like to start thanking some of the people we would need to thank. Okay. We'd like to start by thanking our very generous diamond sponsors, JP Morgan and Twist Bioscience. Um, we also like to extend many thanks to our gold sponsors, Facebook, Bluevine, Singular, and especially Red Hat, who went above and beyond the call of sponsorship in supporting this conference. And of course, all our wonderful sponsors, other sponsors whose logos are now on the screen. And we wouldn't have a PyCon without the work of the people who's, um, who made this happen. The speakers, both invited and accepted, who created the content you enjoyed in the last two days, um, especially those who came from abroad. Um, the venue, the Wall Center, um, Noah and their team, the network provider, Ziv and his team, uh, the video people, Gidi and his team, and the other vendors who helped us here. The volunteers who uh, helped us in preparations and during the event. The organizers and mentors of the Django Girls Workshop, which gives this conference a special flavor every year. And Doran. Fine, not finally, almost finally, uh, a special group of people who worked for almost a year now uh, in making this a reality. I'd like to invite all the PyCon organizers to come on stage, please. Should be an audio which you can't hear, but uh, <laughs> the pictures are the important part. So these are the guys. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> yeah. uh, We're not gonna sing, right? Not today. <laughs> Only dance. <laughs> uh, and finally, uh, all of you who stayed uh, up until now. Thank you very much for attending. And <laughs>